this felt like a special once a year show that you don't get to see very often. And that's a well, it thing. is a once a year show, Vinny, that you yeah. don't get to see very often. In fact, Good. you only get to see it once a year. The pay per view it did not go off without a hitch. Adam no, the, Cole the, the, is the curse continued into the show. Yes, this show was a celebration of pro wrestling around the world and throughout time. It was a just a, a love. The only thing we were missing wrestling. was Dixie Carter. Not once, Brian, did I think of this myself. You know what this show needs is impact. 63-year-old Steve Borden opened this match with a dive off the entryway onto four dudes. Sting is just the most awesome Sting imaginable. Okay, how many Batman movies have there been? Nah, like eight. 50? Huh? Whoever the best guy ever to play Batman is, that was fucking Sting on this show. He was the best fucking Sting you could ever have. The screen would freeze for about 10 seconds. But then the next 10 seconds, it would go double speed until it got caught up. And this happened two or three times until I restarted the app. Who should make the save but the fighter, Katsuyori Shibata. Orange puts his sunglasses on Shibata and gives him the thumbs up. Mystery opponent, as you all know by now, Claudio Castagnoli. And a lot of his former colleagues were so happy for him and made it known publicly via the Twitters. You pick any two of these guys and have them have a singles match instead of this four-way, it would have been a better match. And that's even before the Adam Cole injury. I don't know. It just sucks for this poor guy. Everyone was sad about it, and it took the excitement away from the match. And really, the only other thing that I want to mention is, uh, okay. Ah, never mind. All right. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, there was some kind of massive brawl in the crowd. Denise was in the area. There was a fight, and uh, two guys were drunk, and they were told to leave, and one of them decided to take a swing at a security guard. Bad idea, brother. This this is why the crowd was saying you fucked up. And no, no, Craig again. I was going to say something, but I decided not to. He drove to Idaho and back. Is that what it was? Woke up at his house, drove to Idaho, worked, and drove home. Mm. Well, we'll give him the break here today. You never oh, should have yeah. got rid of that exercise bike, in my opinion. I would have fell off by now. Isn't there kind of like an exercise bike where it's like on the ground and you sit on it and just pedal? You don't actually have to get up on anything? A device called the QB, C-U-B-I-I. We're going to get you a QB, Granny. I don't know what it is, but we're going to get it for you. How much could a QB possibly be? Maybe uh, The newest maybe, model? Maybe do some research later. Well, no, Vinny. We're going to do it here on the air. What else would okay. we do today? Talk awesome. about that fucking Raw show. People yeah. actually listen to this show and pay for it. If you're thinking of quitting over this show, just keep in mind I spent $300 in a QB. So subscribe to help pay that off for Granny. One should not smoke. Cigarettes are expensive. You'd be broke. <laughs> oh, Chris. We're having fun. Oh, no. My lungs are black. It is probably because I smoked a pack. She just said smoke crack. I went to the doctor to get them checked. He told me that my lungs were absolutely wrecked. I found some cool caskets to deeply inspect. I'm actively angry at this point at the horrific entries that we got here today. And I'm upset. You're upset? At your uh, actions. You're upset at my actions? Go ahead, Granny. Let's do the wrestling report. I don't think I want to. Oh, <laughs> Granny! Why are you angry? At your mood. A Canadian smoker named Faye smoked more than a pack every day. I asked her, how come? She replied, because I'm dumb. I guess that's a good answer. Eh? <laughs> eh? E-H-A. Yeah, A. Okay. Whatever. So we can re... Did you Maybe see that? Here. What? No. I was attacked by fucking Mothman. Oh. How's he doing? He'll be dead soon. Poor Mothman. Orange is using Jane by Jefferson Starship as his music again. I like the, I like the Pixies better, but whatever. But whatever. Yeah. I wish everybody had that attitude. Apathy is my strong suit. You really get down to it. What uh, this world needs more of, it's apathy. I'm sorry your entire family isn't dead. And when he said that, I'm sure I'm going to hell. But I actually laughed. I laughed at his <laughs> delivery. It was so fucking ridiculous the way he delivered this line. You two could go straight to hell. Go straight to you? hell. So instead of saying you can go to hell, he said you can go straight 
to hell. Yes. And then he said, get it? Go to? <laughs> no, you fucked it up. There was a lot of stuff in this match that wasn't smooth. Yes. But it's fucking blood and guts, bro. Yeah. And it kind of all is. worked out in the end. The extra chaos helped it. Brought his bag of blades. He did, actually. <laughs> Passing him out like candy. I think he was responsible for cutting everybody in this match. Well? He's like Mox the Ripper in this match here. Made have been. They presume he destroyed, like, every ligament in his leg. That sucks. So it's going to be a long, long time. Cool Hand Ange is removed from the inside of the cage, placed on the outside of the cage. How in the fuck did he get there? But he's hanging upside down. Yes. Bleeding out like a side of beef. 24 years and one day after Mankind fell off the cell against The Undertaker, Sammy Guevara falls off the cell here against uh, Eddie Kingston. I would go off the top of that cage mm -hmm. through that table and crash pad a million times before I would let anybody give me a giant swing on top of that fucking cage right by the edge. Of all crowds, they're now doing the one, two, sweet. Like, guys, you're doing the chant of the people who killed your show. I got to move to another night and got the boss canceled and the whole crew fired. If I had a fucking dollar for every time I watched a promo on WWE television and either the baby face or the heel said, will you please just shut up? Oh, I'd be whatever is after a deck of million. You'd have a gold fleet. Just watch Kiana James's face because she has... A different, over-the-top, melodramatic facial expression for every single thing that happens. Tony D whacked two times. He's dead. He's on ice. You know what gimmick has never been done in wrestling? Your gimmick. Zombie mobster. This is one where I, like, I, you know, it's a sorrowful thing we does this. I was doing that and just punching the air in rage. What is going on? What am I watching? What am I doing with my life? Totally exposed out there. Granted, she's coming back from an injury, but still, oh my God. And uh, I was told that she was uh, praised afterwards. Well, you see, she thrust the rest of the camera. <laughs> what more could you want? The big line at the end of the show was Cameron Grimes going up to him and literally admitting, you're right, I probably can't beat you when you're at 100%. But it looks like you're not at 100%. I thought, God damn, that was pretty fucking great right there. The Royal Rumble is Saturday, but uh, Vinny's got an anniversary gimmick. I do. And so, uh, it's not a gimmick. Well, I mean, it's better. It's anyway. a shoot anniversary. So, uh, we're going to do the SummerSlam, Brian and Vinny and Craig show on Sunday this week, everybody. Right. 